Hi guys, Tom here from Dreadlabs with kind of like a different video here. It will still be a tutorial, but the reason that you clicked on this video is probably, hopefully not, but probably because of Inklab. So a full disclaimer will be on the screen right now. If you want to read it, you can just pause it. But in short, I don't mean any harm to Keezy or Black Market, and I don't want to like take sales away from their product or whatever, but I've seen so many complaints about like Inklab not being able to work for them and the support being almost non available that I, I even got a couple of questions about it on my Discord server. So for the people that actually purchased Inklab, I was just gonna show you a similar process uh, which still takes quite a long time. So Inklab will definitely make this process easier for you if you get it working. I just wanted to show you that you can do it manually in Photoshop since from what I understand about it is I think it's just that Inklab just as a sequence of Photoshop actions that runs. And I wanted to showcase these actions and explain them a little bit more to you so you can do this without having to resort to a broken plugin basically. So let's dive straight into it. So I just was experimenting a little bit with um, Photoshop and this is basically my end result uh, with a little bit of extra stuff. And this is basically a normal halftone processing in Photoshop. And this is basically what I started playing with and basically with some creative freedom and things to make it a little bit more like Inklab. As you can see, it's not that similar. As you can see, it's a little bit different. But basically this is a normal processing in uh, Photoshop and this is the Inklab version, just to show that difference. The only difference here essentially is the size of the dots. So the, like, the Inklab one is a little bit larger than the bottom one. Uh, for some reason, by the way, I my Inklab has always been working. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because I've purchased it early on or whatever, but anyways, what you basically tend to do here is turn your, um, image, Let, I'll just do it from the start in a second, but what basically is happening is it makes a separation out of all of the colors and uses that as a mask. Mask. So in my version, I turned it into a smart object, but basically you get these cyan layers, you get these magenta layers and yellow layers, and you can just make, basically just change the color if you want to and offset them if you want and uh, blur them for example, um, with a Gaussian blur or whatever. But yeah, just to give you an idea that this is all completely possible in Photoshop. So yeah, let's just delete everything except for this like really stupid fake tech ad, I guess, <laughs> uh, that I made. Just um, Let's convert this into a smart object and call this base art. So the first thing that we wanna do actually is go to image mode, CMYK color. And you don't really want to rasterize everything unless you are just using a rasterized image, of course. And the next thing you want to do is go to filter, pixelate, color halftone. So basically this is the angles that you want. So 15, 75, zero and 45, unless you want to experiment with them. And the radius is basically like the size of the dots. But if we click okay, you immediately get that ink lab look, I guess, and you can get to texturing. And since you're using a smart object, you can also lower this to like four, I think it's the, it's the minimum. And this will just make the dots a lot smaller, as you can see. Let's just make them, I don't know, six. Uh, so you can kind of still make out like this, these parts. So basically the way that this works is you're gonna use the channels out of this. Um, so next to the layer menus, you usually have the channels ready. Otherwise it should be under window channels. And if you go to channels, you can actually see that what you're seeing right now is the CMYK version. So all of the CMYK channels on the screen. Um, I don't really want to go into too much how, on how to color halftone printing is. This is really just a workaround to if your Inklab plugin just stopped working and you cannot find any support. You want to click on the cyan channel here. And this is basically a black and white version of everything that's a cyan layer. And this will basically just separate all of the cyan colors out of the color halftone. So if we zoom in really, really far, you can see the dots. As you can see the only the, like the cyan dots, let's zoom in on one right here, will be visible now. So yeah, we wanna just click on the cyan and then command or control A and then command or control C to basically copy this whole layer. Then go back to CMYK and we'll make a new layer, a solid color, and we'll just do 100% cyan and 0% of the other colors here in the color selection. Click on okay. And then click alder option on the mask here and just Press Command or Control V. Now we just press Control or Command I to invert the filter. And this is basically what um, Inklab is doing. 
So let's repeat that, but then with all of the other colors. So let's just call this C. One thing to note here is if you click on the magenta and then select everything and copy, just go back to the CMYK before you just do anything else because otherwise your your whole thing is gonna get messed up because you're not working in every channel. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's speed this up real quick and I'll just get everything in order for you. All right, so if we just unhide the bottom layer and I'll just make a white background and you can also just use a texture rather than a white background but now basically if I just put all these blend modes to multiply you should get about the same result actually so let's just uh, call this ink lab yeah if we just unhide this this is the exact same layer so the cool part about this is that you can now play around with these masks and you know offset them for example so for example let's just move out the uh, cyan layer a little bit to the right as you can see you get like this little bluish uh, hue on the right side to get like that offset print look what you can also do is just go to filter on another one go to blur and then slightly gaussian blur maybe like one pixel or something or maybe like even smaller like depending on your canvas size of course but yeah if you uh, tend to let's just repeat that on every single filter so that it's like a little bit more blurry as you can see and this will get like a little bit more of a realistic print look i guess to be honest what you can do now is basically endless and the possibilities are the same as with ink lab so for example uh, let's say that you want to add like a weird slit scan effect to the yellows or the magentas so just select the mask here go to filter distort and then go to wave and let's remove the vertical waves and make a larger wavelength as you can see now we have this like slit scan effect i guess on uh, the magenta layer which you know is just some way or shape or, or how you can manipulate this so this is basically i hope this gets you started at least so if you're really really uh, desperate to make this halftone effect then you can still do it even if your plugin that you purchased stopped working so again full disclosure i don't mean any harm towards black market towards Keezy. the whole goal meaning of this video is not to take away sales or um you know get clout for myself or, or cash in on something because i just want to show you how to do this for free i will also uh just i guess drop this on like the discord server of my channel or something uh, just so you can download it for yourself but the goal of this is just because i even got some people in my server who purchased this and were like well i i'm like having a project or whatever and i cannot get this to work even though i paid for it and i really really want help and then some people in my server actually helped that person but i was like okay i've seen so many people on instagram having the same problem i'll just find a workaround for it so um can't get it to work and still has to desperately do something about it i hope this video will at least help you in some way shape or form yeah that's it thank you so much for watching and i'm not even gonna plug the rest of my stuff tom from red Lab tuning out enjoy your halftone processing bye